So the time has come. We have to get an attorney. Yeah. Yeah. Good morning. Why don't we get you all ready and you can do your hair and you'll be set to go for a big day. Abby got upset as soon as we pulled in the parking garage. Not all parking garages are for doctor's office though. <laughs> We're not going to the doctor. We are here to sign paperwork, sweet girl, so we can take care of you. See, they have a couch, oh, she's and you got candy from the lady at the front counter. Yeah. Cool place, huh? Yeah. Good here? I can do that stuff too. It's not the doctor. It's not the doctor. It's the opposite. <laughs> Pretty quick and painless. Not painless necessarily, we'll talk about that, uh, but easy. Yeah. Four signatures in yeah. total? Three signatures? Yeah, not bad. Was it was it easy for you? And you got a water. That was nice, huh? They always give you water or coffee, yeah, but it's a given. You were saying water, water. <laughs> and then he gave you a water. And you didn't want it. All done, good job. You got your water. You wanna push a button? We're going down. Down, there you go. <laughs> so it was quick, but it wasn't painless. Um, because you know that pain comes in the form of you know you are by by taking over guardianship you you are also essentially taking away a person's a lot of a person's rights um rights that we all have you know a, a right to vote for example um a right to make medical medical decisions for themselves or um even financial decisions for themselves like it's it's um it's a heavy thing it's a very heavy thing you know and and our attorney did talk about that, you know, this is, this is part of it as well. So that was the not easy, not easy to hear part. It's like another one of those times where you just kind of have this, this daily reminder of the things that are taken away because of disability. So that's tough. And all the paperwork is written in legal jargon, which is not, which doesn't care about your feelings. So it's tough to read. Are you ready? Ready. Are you nervous? Are you nervous? You mm -hmm. are? Yeah. <laughs> you gotta meet your attorney. <laughs> Today, the attorney that represents Abigail, so different attorney from ours, is coming to the house. I don't know if it's customary to come to the house. I assume it's a good place to meet because they get to see, you know, since she's representing Abigail in her best interests. Right. Um, it's good to see like where she would be living <laughs> with us having guardianship. Right. So, kind of makes sense, but. Yeah, and to see her in her natural environment so that she's not like nervous or. Sure. You know. Yep, she's on her way here. Are you nervous, Mom? Um, I, you know, yeah. I'm always nervous when, like, are we good parents? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'm doing okay. I put on a shirt with buttons, so I feel like I'm ready. <laughs> You did a great job. You know that? More what? More people? You did a great job. Okay, lawyer just left. Everything went smoothly. She kind of filled us in on, uh, which our lawyer did as well. So we have an attorney that represents us and then one that represents Abigail. Yes, Dave, what's up? Oh, I'm not gonna open the fridge. You just had breakfast a little bit ago. Yeah. So there, there are two elements to this. There's guardianship and then there is guardian advocacy. And guardianship would apply in the situation of uh, someone being incapacitated. Uh, you know, it could be an elderly person uh, with, with severe dementia or someone who is, who is physically incapable of, uh, you know, like, uh, like maybe someone in a coma, that kind of situation, that would be guardianship. Guardianship requires a lot more. There's a lot more involved in it. Guardian advocacy, um, we are still Abigail's guardian but it is a different process. You know, they can kind of come in and just um, view Abigail and make it, a, the, her lawyer can make it a determination on, you know, whether she wants to not allow us to be guardians or she does think it's okay for us to be guardians. So that's basically how that goes. Okay, so the next step is? The court proceedings. Right, so. well, well, I was gonna say, cause she's gonna meet with um, 
Well, she just calls our lawyer, our lawyer. Yeah. And says, okay, I met Abigail and I'll represent her. Um, and then they'll file the paperwork with, I mean, they've already filed paperwork. So then they with get the like, the, court. yeah. So then they get a date. Um, so we have two judges here. One is in person and one does zoom. We got the zoom attorney or lawyer, judge, which is cool. Mm -hmm. Um, and it's a 15 minute. Yeah, procedure. 15 minutes is what she said. <laughs> there is a money aspect to it where, um, a finances aspect to it. Like the attorney will ask you, you know, it, do they have an income? Will they be getting an income? Uh, that kind of thing, because that will, you'll have to report that as well. Um, you're required to report, you know, documents stating like this is where the money went basically. Right. Um, so that, that comes into play, um, which, you know, your attorney will talk about that with you as you're going through this process. And then you also, um, you have a yearly, um, report that you have to do just talking about her, like, what is she doing for social, um, things, activities, activities yeah. and what does her schooling look like and that kind of thing. Sometimes your lawyer will waive that. Um, if I think if there's like not a chance that you're doing those kind of things maybe sure but abigail's will not it's going to be case by case yeah yeah that's definitely and and i think that your lawyer makes those de decisions both lawyers right kind of together um so we'll just have our lawyer kind of on retainer basically mm -hmm. and he'll just do that for us every year yeah pretty smooth a little bit nerve-wracking just because you got someone coming in your home you feel like they're judging you you know like that's that's a normal feeling to have because like they're representing abby and they're deciding whether or not we're we can take care of abby you know right. like well i mean we've kind of been doing it for a long time but <laughs> but you still feel you know a little like i don't know it's a little awkward yeah you know it's it's a little awkward but sweet lady such a sweet so lady. nice and she does both sides mm -hmm. so she doesn't so just she represent Abigail, she also represents family, so yes. that was kind of cool. Not us. Knows. We have you have yeah. to have separate attorneys, obviously. Right. But yeah, she she has been on both sides of that aisle. So. And I know that um, I saw some comments that you don't have to have um, an attorney for this in Florida, as far as I know, you do. Yeah. So I don't know. Like an attorney to represent Ab. Or or, your, or, or yourself. Ab. So I don't know what other states do, but as far as I know, like you have to do it this way. Um, and and we will we at the end of the video we will give you the full dollar amount what it costs um i know there, there's going to be a range and it's going to vary but we'll tell you you know everything that it costs between our attorney her attorney court proceedings all that stuff right and there's always programs in your area so make sure you look that up um that can help you with these kind there's of things there's pro bono, bono lawyers that you yeah. can that you can hire for this so yeah lots of options but yeah, yeah we'll give you the full dollar amount when we have it getting ready for our, um, our, our, is it called a trial? A hearing? It's a hearing. It's a hearing. We're getting ready for our hearing. For guardianship. Yep. Yeah, it's going to be on Zoom. So, but we're, it's still like, you still, you still nervous? Nervous? Yeah. A little nervous? Yeah. I mean, it's, you know. You know there's a judge involved. You well, know? And it's other people making decisions. Like, yeah. On, on your, your, that you've made your entire life for right. your child. It's like, and all of a sudden it's like, it's, you know, yeah, it's kind of kind of nerve-wracking. I could tell you were nervous this morning when you woke up. You were just kind of like silent. And... Mm -hmm. I was just thinking, you know, yeah. it's like other people, you know, like we do Don't this. Don't get emotional. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> like, but like we, we got this and then all of a sudden other people can make decisions for her and you're like, what? You know, that's, it's scary, you know? I mean, we know what the outcome is going to be, but it's still scary. Yeah. Does that make sense? Okay. Mm. Well, that was painless. <laughs> um, our attorney told us like 15 minutes is what it would take. It took like seven, seven minutes. <laughs> um, really easy. And uh, we officially have guardianship of Abigail. So yeah. that was not bad at all. Not even a little bit. And the judge is very candid. and And that was our judge. You know, I don't know how official they have to be in that kind of thing because because you just have like we said before you know our attorney is is working towards our best interests as parents but also abigail's and then abigail's attorney is working at 
as Abigail's best interest. Yeah. Or for Abigail's best interest. So everybody is for Abby. You know what I mean? Right. So it's kind of, and the judge. So pretty easy. Anything else on the hearing? I don't think so. Simple, right? Yeah. Simple. Judge puts it in, it can be like same day or next day, and all of a sudden, boom, guardianship. So, perfect. Final thoughts on the whole guardianship process. I think it is it is scarier than it really is. Like, it feels scarier right. than it really is. It feels more daunting of a thing than it actually is. It was relatively simple. Yep. Um, in our situation, you know, we are her biological parents, and we've been raising her a whole life, so... Yeah. In our situation, it was easy. One of the things I would say is make sure you start early. Yeah. Um, things do take some time. Um, and you need to make sure you have all your documents in order. Thankfully, we have all that stuff. Um, but you have to have those things to be able to start the process. Mm -hmm. um, so we're, what day is it? So we're like a month after her birthday. Um, and we started in April. No. For we started in March, March, the end of March. Yeah. So I would give myself at least three to four months. Um, if like, you want to make sure that you have it done on their 18th birthday. For right. us, it really wasn't a huge deal just because we she had already had all of her doctor's appointments and all the people that she works with have been working with her for years. So God forbid that the only thing that could come up is like a an emergency. An, an emergency but you know, in many situations, the doctor's going to act on behalf of the right. patient anyway. So, but, you know, you still want to get it done. Like, we should have started probably January, February, and then it would have been kind of perfect. Well, I, I February. Think, well, yeah, even the beginning of March. The beginning of March would have been, yeah. would have been fine. Um, but, yeah, so, you know, start finding an attorney probably six months ahead of time, I would say. That's, yeah. that's, that's your step right now is find an attorney. Find a good one to uh, to represent you, and the court will appoint um, the Child. attorney mm -hmm. for the person. They call they call her the person yeah. during well the done. during the hearing. Um, and just so you know, um, the pricing is going to um, hold on just a second now. The pricing is going to vary. Um, I know there are programs in places. Those would probably take longer. We paid privately, mm -hmm. um, like ourselves, for an attorney for uh, on our behalf. So if you're trying to use like um, any kind of help, mm -hmm. um, I know here and I'm sure everywhere the ARC mm -hmm. has people that can do this for you for way less money, but it it would take longer. Right. So, there is financial assistance, but start that even sooner. Yes. Because there's approval for the financial assistance as well. So, and for those who were wondering, like we ended up paying about $4,000. In total. In total, but that doesn't count her attorney. We haven't received the bill for that yet. Right. So it may be more around 5,000. Well, ours was 3,500. Ours was a little over third. I thought ours was four. Ours was 4000 total. Mm -hmm. We just got an updated bill. Agree to disagree. Okay. okay. Well, well, if we got an updated bill, then that's what it is. Yeah. <laughs> hey, what's up? Are we all done? Come with you? Okay. We got to go. See you guys later. Bye. Bye. Good luck.